As part of your walk around, you would verify the condition, damage, blockage of the three angle of attack AOA probes. the two captain and first officer static ports. Check that the static ports are clear and the covers are removed. The three pitot probes. The two standby static ports. Check that the static ports are clear and the covers are removed. The two total air temperature TAT probes, the radar radome and its latches, navigation antennas on the lower center fuselage. For normal operation, after AC power has been connected to the aircraft, ensure that the ADR push buttons are in their normal lights out position. Then, select the navigation position on the three IR mode selectors. The alignment process has now started. The on bat light illuminates amber for a few seconds as a test of the battery circuit and the white align lights illuminate to indicate that alignment is in progress. Almost immediately, air data information is shown on both PFD. On the ECAM memo, the message IRS in a line greater than seven minutes appears. This message tells you that the alignment process has begun. It takes approximately 10 minutes for a full alignment, but the ECAM will only count down from seven minutes. After approximately 30 seconds, Attitude information is displayed on both PFDs. To allow an IRS alignment, you will have to enter the present position in the init page of the MCDU. To save time, we have already selected this page for you. One method of position entry is to insert a company route. We have inserted the company route, All Care, into the scratch pad for you. It corresponds in this database to a flight from Paris Orly to Cairo. Note, the other method is a city pair input via line select key one right. Line select this route to the company route field by selecting the one left key. As you can see, this has automatically entered the latitude and longitude position of Orly Airfield into the MCDU. This data has been obtained from the aircraft navigation database. Notice the up and down arrows beside the LAT title. These arrows indicate that the latitude information can be adjusted by using the MCDU SLU keys. Press the MCDU SLU UP key to change the latitude information. Notice that the latitude figure has been increased by 0.1 of a minute. Now to adjust the longitude position, line select for right. Notice that the two arrows have now moved across to be alongside the long title. The longitude information can be adjusted in a similar manner to the latitude. Press the MCDU slew down key to change the longitude information. Notice that the longitude has been decreased by 0.1 of a minute. Using this method, it is possible to fine tune the position to, for example, the gate position. The IRS in a line message on the engine warning display counts down the time remaining until full alignment is completed. We have speeded up this countdown for you.
If the position has not been inserted, the countdown will stop at one minute. In the MCDU scratch pad, a message, Enter Present Position, appears, and the Align lights on the ADIAS panel will begin to flash. Once IRS alignment is complete, all PFD and ND information is available. The IRS in Align message disappears from the engine warning display memo and the ADIAS control panel Align lights extinguish. For the remainder of a normal flight, no further pilot input is required on the ADIAS system. Occasionally, during a turnaround, a residual ground speed can necessitate an IRS rapid realignment. Residual ground speed can be seen on the ND. ND1 shows the residual ground speed for IR1, while ND2 shows the residual ground speed for IR2. To see the residual ground speed for IR3, you can use the ADIAS panel. The system selector should be in position 3 and the data selector in the track ground speed position. To carry out a rapid alignment, the three mode selectors are momentarily switched off. Select IR1 mode selector to off. Now turn it back to navigation. Fast realignment is now in progress. Notice that all three align lights have illuminated. You should note that if a rotary selector is switched to the off position for more than 5 seconds, a full alignment will commence, lasting up to 10 minutes. You now have to insert the position. A company route has been typed for you in the scratch pad. Please line select it to one left. With a position now in the MCDU, you can see that the Align IRS prompt has appeared on the MCDU display. After confirming that this is the correct position, it can be sent to the ADIAS. Line select 3 right to realign the ADIAS. The actual position has been sent to the ADIAS. The ADIAS will take approximately three minutes to realign to the position entered into the MCDU. Now the ground speeds are all zero and the rapid alignment is complete.